Hi, it's Darnell with Way Over Recipes, and today I'm going to be grilling up some chicken tenderloins in the Breville Combi Wave 3 in 1. So, we'll see how this microwave combination, convection oven combination air fryer does with some fresh chicken tenderloins right now. Okay, so we have the Breville Combi Wave here, and I've got that crisper pan here with about a pound of chicken tenderloins in it. It's about seven by count of chicken tenderloins. The oil and seasoning I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I've also got some, basically this Grillmates Montreal chicken seasoning and some Old Bay. And as I always say, nothing in this video, nobody paid me anything to put anything in here or anything of that sort. But I'm going to now just get a little bit of oil on the chicken. So I'm gonna just give it a light amount of oil and just try and get them all kind of, you know, mixed up or cover a little bit in some of the oil and seasoning. So just putting a little bit of oil, not a lot. I don't wanna put a bunch. So get a little bit more. Sorry, my arm's in the way there. But now my arm's not in the way. Now I'm going to just, uh, Kind of move them around a little bit in that oil just to kind of you know get things covered up nicely with that oil and get this one kind of cover it oops knock my chicken back there gonna have to sanitize my grill mates bottle Now I've got this one, just get it mixed and moved around a little bit, kind of, you know, get them all oiled up good. This adds a little extra moisture to things is all it does. Really helps that uh, seasonings kind of stick and seep in good too as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these seasonings on top of this side, then I'll flip them, do the other side. This. McCormick's Grillmate Chicken Montreal Chicken Seasoning. I'm sorry about that arm in the way again. Got to remember that. This seasoning is okay. It's okay in my opinion. It, in my opinion, just needs a little, a little kick, a little help. And the Obey seasoning gives it just a little help to just a little kick. I don't need with it. I don't need a lot of Obey, but just a little, just a little spritzing of Obey over on this side here so with that now I'm just going to get all these chicken tenderloins flipped over so I'm going to flip them all to the opposite side and get them all seasoned up equally as well on the opposite side and you know I done cooks from frozen in the Breville Combi Wave if you haven't seen those you can check those out but it can cook chicken, you know, and other things from fresh and frozen. Although, I know most of you prefer from fresh. And, you know, I like fresh. I like fresh food, too. So, let's put some more of the Montreal chicken seasoning on here. And let's get that covered really nicely. Hope I didn't overdo it with that seasoning there but put a little Old Bay over on there too just to season them up just a little dust in a give them a little dust of this stuff all right now what we do is we open up the Breville Combi Wave we put this inside the legs are supposed to be out and I will show you in a moment the legs have to be out so put that on in there like that and close up that nice soft closed door. Okay, now you see the close up view of the Breville Combi Wave. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the food menu button. And it's on cook, so I'm just going to press in on cook. And I'm going to spin the dial down to chicken. And once I'm at chicken, I press in on chicken. And now that I'm on chicken, I give the weight and I go up to a pound. And it says use pan legs. See, it keeps repeating use pan legs. Depending on the weight, it's going to say use pan legs or just use pan. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and press start. 
and it starts cooking. Basically, it's telling me it's going to need 32 minutes at 450 degrees. It's going to use its oven and its grill functions to do the cook. So it'll do, you know, basically the convection oven. It'll use some of that heating element up top to do some grilling. And so I'll bring you back in a moment. All right, 16 minutes passed and halfway through it chimes. I'll let you know it's time to flip your food. So I'm going to flip all these pieces of chicken over. Looks like some of my seasoning didn't adhere too well on the bottom side of things, but there is some. So finish flipping these over. Does look like they're cooking away pretty well so far. And so with them all flip, I get them all back in there. Close that door and just hit start and I'll bring you back. All right, we're coming to the final seconds of 32 minutes. And so I'm gonna get them on out and let you have a look at them here. Here they are, finished and grilled. So now that they're all grilled, I'm going to basically take one. This one looks nice for a taste test. But actually, before I taste test, I forgot to do something. I mean, 32 minutes, I figure they're done, right? But never can be too sure. We are done. As you can see, we're done. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get one on the plate. But always make sure that you do temperature tests your meat. And I'm gonna get the camera moved and we'll taste test. All right, here's our grilled chicken tenderloin. Let's taste it. It's good stuff. You probably just heard the Breville Combi Wave turn off in the back after it's done cooking. It does a few minutes of cool down. But the chicken is perfect. I mean, it's perfectly grilled chicken. And so the Breville Combi Wave, I mean, although it took 32 minutes, which compared to a lot of other cookers may be a long time, but when you're able to do everything in a single solitary cooker, you know, you have to have your trade-offs. And so, although it took 32 minutes, it did it perfect. So, you know, if you don't mind the 32 minutes, it's perfect. And if you're gonna have just one cooker, it's perfect. I mean, it does the job. So I am impressed with how it did that grilled chicken because that chicken is super moist, super tender, super juicy, perfectly well grilled chicken. And so it's good stuff. And I'll put this recipe and other heating instructions and such for the Breville Combi Wave in my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com. Also, you can always come to this YouTube channel by going to wayloveandrecipes.com and I'm on Twitter and Instagram at wayloveandrecipes. In the video description, you can find referral links to my Amazon shop for other types of cookers and such and other ways to help this channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and good eating. Also, hit that notification bell.